Here is the comic redux for X-Men number 3, Beware of the Blob. Professor X is training the X-Men in the danger room. First Cyclops and his optic blast, then Marvel Girl with her telekinesis, when suddenly he detects the presence of another mutant nearby. Into your street clothes, all of you. There's work to be done. Professor X sends the X-Men into the city to search for the new mutant and Cyclops finds a nearby carnival. There, he finds the immovable Blob. Nobody moves the Blob! Cyclops tried to convince him to come back to the X-Men's headquarters, and he resisted until Angel and Marvel Girl arrived. Now that I've met Red Riding Hood here, I've changed my mind. Let's go visit the X-Men. Professor X tests the Blob's powers and proves he is a true mutant. He extends an offer for him to join the X-Men, and the Blob refuses. A fight breaks out and the X-Men try to subdue him, but the Blob escapes. He travels back to the carnival and starts giving orders, planning to strike the X-Men. Professor X toils away in his lab working on a solution when the Blob and his circus henchmen attack the school. The Blob and his henchmen subdue the X-Men and rush into their home. Marvel Girl manages to free them, and they rush to the Professor's aid. The Blob confronts Professor X, but he is ready with his new invention, his mental intensifier. The X-Men arrive and subdue the circus henchmen, and Professor X fires his mental weapon, erasing all of their memories. What's going on? What are we doing here? I don't know, but we'd better return to the carnival before we get sacked. The Blob runs back to the carnival with his memories erased, as the X-Men stand in triumph. This has been the Comic Redux of X-Men number 3, Beware of the Blob.